made in Hollywood. One of the most important steps to becoming a director is to start writing and directing short films at a young age. When I touched this pen, I saw this place. Someplace amazing. So what advice do you have for kids who want to be a director like yourself? What I would say is people um, are often after the wrong things when they want to be a director. There are people who say, I want to be a director, and you go, really, what do you want to make? And they go, I don't know. But I really like the idea of like sitting in a chair and having people come to me, and I point, and they go, and I'm not very interested in talking to those people. But the people who say, I've always had this story in mind, and then they start to tell a story, those are the people that I think are going to be good directors, because it's the story that's the most important thing. We've been looking for someone like you for a very long time. My best advice I was ever given was by another female director. She said, do everything before you're ready. And uh, I really took it to heart. I produced my first play before I was ready. I said yes to directing a film before I thought I was ready. And I definitely have done it in my personal life as well. Like just jumped into things and been like, you know what? I don't know what I'm doing, but I will figure it out. Ooh. Magical. God. You have to be so tenacious. This business can be a real beat down. And especially at the beginning, you're constantly bumping up against no and people pushing you away and you know it's so competitive and it's so hard and even people in your own life your family and friends, do you really want to do this blah, blah blah but if you have that burning desire if the making films is like the only thing that you feel like you can do then you have to never give up first day of school very very exciting i was up late last night figuring out a new plan here it is fear Run. i need a list of all the possible negative outcomes on the first day at a new school way ahead of you there does anyone know how to spell meteor i think the the number one thing i'd say is get in there and start making movies it's easier than ever to make your own movies you probably have in your pocket right now the ability to make a movie on your phone right and keep it short they shouldn't be doing these 20 minute movies. You want them short, especially on today and with online and everything. My shorts were never longer than seven minutes. You know, if you can tell a good story in that seven minutes, and you can do something that's kind of you know, unique and has production value and all those things, that tells a lot to the people that make these decisions that they can handle this kind of thing. You guys don't have to come with me. I know we can make it. It's so much about just staying with your idea, staying with your project, like really believing in yourself and not taking no for an answer, honestly. When people say, no, you can't do that, say, I think I can. I actually think I can make this for this amount of money. I do think that I can shoot it in 25 days, et cetera, et cetera. I used to think, too, that there were some people who were just unfairly born talented. And th that's sort of true. But even those people had to really work and hone their craft. There are some people that sort of you know, it happens really quick, but for most people, you know, they chip away at this career for a while until they have a foothold. What if I fail to fulfill the prophecy? And what if you fail to try? If you don't believe, Peter, then neither will they. What do you use now in order to continue learning? What kind of resources just are available? Reading. I just read uh, as much as I can. But also I find living is a learning experience and I undertake every film I make specifically to learn. I always think it's be very smart for anybody who's interested in the movies to become familiar with the golden age of movies, which ran from about 1912 to about 1962. There's an awful lot of good movies made in that period. Not every movie was great by a long shot, a lot of crap, but there's a lot of great ones too. You know, after watching a movie, and if there are things that you liked about it, talk about it. If there are things that you didn't like about it, talk about those. But then just add how you would fix it, the things that you don't like, or the things that didn't work for you. I felt like that was a big lesson in, uh, for me at Pixar, was that everyone always goes, this didn't work for me, but for me to fix that, I would say X, Y, and Z. And that little second step was, was a huge lesson.